Hello guys and girls, welcome back to another Geek in the Wall. Another Geek in the Wall? That's what we're going to call this from now on, isn't it? Another Geek in the Wall. Uh, another brick in the mall is what I was trying to say. Uh, welcome <laughs> welcome back as you join us in the dead of the night. Um, first episode went down really well. I'm uh, glad you guys enjoyed it. I'm, I'm glad that you like the fact that we're concentrating a little bit more on what the place looks like and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for the positive comments. One suggestion we had that was a great suggestion was to add a staff door just to the back here so that people, uh, so the staff can get from the staff parking here up into the corridor. Just gives them a few more options. I think that is a superb idea. And uh, I'm not sure how we're doing, to be honest, because if we have a look at this, uh, this shop here, let's um, just manage this door. At the moment, uh, we've just started making profit, which is good. That's what we want. Uh, because really, we're down to our last five grand, which probably isn't enough to build a second shop right now, unfortunately. So what first thing we'll do is we'll get the game sped up uh, because there's not much reason to slow down. But let's have a look at how close we are to our objectives. Tell 20 different types of products. We're on our way towards that. Uh, turn a daily profit of $100. We should be able to do that, shouldn't we? Um, what did we do yesterday? See, we're still not quite making money luck. One, two, three, net profit. We'll see how we get on today. Um, that'll give us 10 grand. Have a 100 customers on site. We're going to struggle with that. But there, look, that 500 total sales, we should be able to hit that today. So let's just have a day of just kind of seeing where we're up to, what the queues are like, uh, and all that sort of stuff before we decide. Uh, oh, people are not happy, look. Uh, before we decide, okay, so the builder's off. It's 5.30 in the morning. Uh, I believe the shop opens at 8, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, what have we got here? Uh, a new project has been selected. Manual left click to manually select. Uh, so we can now do night hours. So we can now open 24-7 if we so wish. Whether or not that's a good idea, I just don't quite know right now. So we'll let this day get out of the way. Uh, I'm a poet and I don't know it. So here come the staff and here come the customers. And there, uh, and we're off. Okay, here we go. So, so far, demand is about right for one queue, although it's getting a little long. Second one should be coming in. Oh, I thought it was at 10 o'clock. Maybe it's 11 o'clock the second staff comes in. Oh, there we go. Were they just late, were they? It's not good. Okay, car parking seems to be getting a little full um, as well. And obviously, if there's no spaces, then the cars just won't come in. So we're going to have to look at that on uh, the end of our daily report as to whether or not it's something we have to deal with. Three uh, three cashiers on now, so the queues are going down nicely. Um, we seem to be doing okay. We're still not getting anywhere close to making that profit, though. That's the problem. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, starting to quiet down a little bit. So around about 5 o'clock it seems to quieten down quite a bit. So we may well be able to get down to one cashier at about 5 o'clock. I think maybe whoever finishes at sort of 6 or 7, yeah that one there, we need to drag you a little bit earlier because we seemed busier earlier on. Yeah they just then leave. So. We lost a few sales there, okay, but we made money, so we made, what did we do? We did the 500 sales, okay, that gave us the 10 grand, but other than that, we not quite made money, so I think, let's have a look at opening 24-7 and see if that's what puts us into the profit. So, uh, manage the store. So first of all, we open at 8, so now we're going to open at midnight, and we're going to close at midnight. I don't want people turning up though. Which is what's going to happen, isn't it? So let's just shut at the moment. Yeah, because we don't want we don't want, we don't want people coming in yet because they can't buy anything. So can you please leave my shop? You are trespassing, sir. You are trespassing. Are you robbing me? Are you robbing me? That guy's just robbed me. Did you see that? <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Right, okay, so let's sort the staff out first. So, um, that cashier that comes in at, a, a, what is it, one? There's one that comes in at 10. You need to start a little earlier. So, we're going to have you both on at eight. 
So we have two coming at eight in the morning, and then you come in at one until uh, nine. Do you st ah? Did we have nobody for that last hour? You come in at one o'clock and work for eight hours. That's taking you up until nine o'clock. Well, the shop's open until ten, isn't it? Oh my word! So let's have you come in at two till ten, and then let's hire a new one. Um, nobody's very good at being cashiers. You're probably the best. You're going to come in at 10 p.m. Right. No, when you're not, you're going to come in at 6 p.m. No, you're going to come in at 4 p.m. <laughs> and that'll work through till so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 in the morning you'll work to. So we need another guy. Uh, another person even to... Oh, that's a good one. You can work from 1 a.m. 1 a.m. And you work through till there. So now we have... So now one of the 8 o'clock guys, you've got to come in an hour earlier. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh my god, this is really complicated. So now, you're telling me that there's nobody working from midnight through till six in the morning, but now there is. Right, there, there. <sighs> I just can't figure it out. I think that I think that's it. I think that's what we want. So let's speed through. We're going to have to probably wait till the next day now before this really starts. Oh, and then we have to actually set the shop to be open, don't we? Oh, but no, you start at 8 today because there is no staff in till 8. But as soon as it hits 8 o'clock... Oh, no, there's one in now. Okay, cool. Yeah, get open then. Get okay, good. It's now 4 in the morning. Look at these early birds coming and buying what they want. Okay. So at the moment, it, I mean... It, it just about seems like it's worth having one staff member here. And this is mainly so that we don't have that loss of the uh, that sort of last queue at 8 o'clock. If that makes sense. Okay, so you, you're going to stay till 8, aren't you? And we should hopefully get some another member of staff coming now. Oh, there we go. Oh, so we've got three now. Which is, which is too many, I think. But I think we need to start working on some more um, car parking. So let's drag the road down there a little. And then we'll have a row of customer parking can go right... Uh, oh, let's... No, actually, let's, have, let's keep that. We might want to carry the road down there. We've not decided yet. Okay, so Q seems to be okay. We're going to have to look at getting a janitor now soon, unfortunately, because these footprints aren't good. Yeah, we're looking pretty uh, pretty busy. I've got a feeling we might turn a profit today. It's it's only 2 o'clock and we're already at two-thirds of what we took yesterday. I'm assuming this runs from midnight to midnight. So it, look, I've got a feeling that we're going to make some money today. Yeah, it definitely quietens down about now. So I think we could probably cut down to two, two members, even one member of staff luck. Oh, they all go now. Oh, but somebody else has come on. Okay, so there's a bit of a shift change at about five. That seems to be okay. Two staff members are definitely the way to go at this time of night. We're very close to making profit. We've taken over a grand. I think... Oh, yes, we're in profit. $30. We could definitely get towards that that $100 daily profit. Yeah, we've done it. Okay, so that's going to give us an extra ten grand as well. That may be enough to get our next shop built uh, or even maybe just more stuff in this shop I'm not sure um, we'll see what it's like so one of you needs to clear off now it's too many staff okay you're going that's fine okay too many staff we only need you through the night my love you're our night worker you're doing a f f f fine job I was gonna say f sound and fine there and it came out as just fine uh, right build uh, no manage there we go let's have a look we need to go to our maintenance center which we are going to rename Maintenance Sensor because that zero is bugging me. Uh, and we need to hire a janitor. So hire a janitor. 
Uh, who is good at being a janitor? You are the best janitor I've ever seen in my life. You're going to come in. Um, you can come in. You're on nine. Yeah, you can just work through the day. Or is it better probably having you through the night? So you're not in people's way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have you through the night. You can come and clean through the night. Uh, stock management needs to be improved a little. Unfortunately, this is a problem. The second you start making profit, you need to uh, spend it on more staff. Because at the moment, we have one store clerk. He comes in at eight and does eight hours. So he's going to finish up at about 4 p.m. So we need another store clerk coming in. Um, have we got a decent store clerk? Yes, you're going to come in at 4 p.m. There we go. And then you're going to work through the day. And there'll be a bit of a gap at night where there's nobody, but that should be okay. Uh, good. Okay, so select. We've now got 20 grand. Do we build a second shop or do we try and fill this shop out a little bit with some of the stuff that we've unlocked through research? I think it's probably better just to add the stuff into here. So let's get a build. And objects. So fridge. Now we've got a lot more. So we could do all this frozen fruit and everything. But most importantly, we can put beer in here, which is what I'm thinking is probably the better option to do. I've got a feeling alcohol will, will make us money. Oh, annoyingly, we're going to have a little gap there, look. I'll see what we'll do instead. We'll keep the gap and we'll treat it as a, as a corridor and we'll just have to move this one. So food shelf, we've now got liquor and soda and stuff we can add to this one, which is good. And we can do fresh fruit, fresh veg, fresh bread. That might be quite nice to do. Or we can just add... So let's have a look. Liquor, uh, beer, wine. Uh, they're all new. And this shelf, we've got loads of stuff on this shelf that we haven't done yet either. And uh, and fridges we've done along the back there. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking we just go regular food shelf here. And then we could build a second store that's going to be slightly more sort of like fresh fruit and fresh veg and things like that. Or we could do a row across the front here, I guess, as well. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's go a row here. Uh, there and there. There we go. And now we've got... All we need to do is remove that one. What is on that one? That's like pickles and stuff. So we can... Once we've removed that, we can build another one in its spot. So we're not got a builder? No, we have got a builder. There we go. So we'll put you there. And then we can fill these gaps in. So, uh, beer. And we've got all of them. So let's have... Oh, let's do ice cream. I imagine that'll probably go down quite well. Although that's a freezer. Is it a fridge or a freezer? Depending on what we put in it. That makes sense. Uh, so the one we missed there, the one we took away was sauces and seasoning. But then we also have liquor... Um, wine, and let's have a second liquor for now. We'll we'll lay all these out a little bit. They're looking a bit a little bit better later on. Um, what do we probably need more of? Is there a way we can see? Um, let's have a look. No, it's not much. It says about them, is it? Unless is there a way we can have a look up here? Hold on. Needs. What's that? Fast food, bowling, movies, soda. Uh, on display one, demand is 16. Well, that doesn't make sense at all. There's no way that they actually want 16 of them. But soda, let's go for the... T so liquor, liquor is popular, but we've just put two of them down. So soda and candies, I guess, is what we can do. That's what they seem to want. Like I say, once we've got a decent stockpile of cash coming in... We will completely relay this all out so it looks a little bit more sensible. So here we can put, uh, let's do fresh bread. Let's have a couple of fresh bread. And then we'll have fresh fruit, fresh veg, and fresh fruit. And once that gets all stocked up, which I'm assuming will happen tomorrow now, we should be okay. Okay, parking seems all right. Um... See our maintenance, 562. I don't know what it is that's that's that costs so much to run each day. These cost a dollar a day. Let's have a look. Finance. See if we can find something about this. Finance. Um, 
Mm, doesn't seem to be much about it, does that? Let's have a look. Needs. No. Maintenance cost. I wonder if just, like, the buildings just... Yeah. I've got a feeling that the um that just the building itself costs money to keep going. Which I think is probably why we're wasting a load of cash with this area here. In fact, let me just let me just see. Let's just try remove foundations. So the current maintenance cost is five six two and that hasn't changed each day. So I'm gonna get rid of this and see if that makes a difference. Because if it does, we can majorly cut down on our maintenance costs. Oh, the fresh fruit looks good. Fruit and bread looks cool. Nice and colourful and bright. Seems to be going down pretty well. We have no builder at the moment, so we'll be able to get rid of that, which is a bit unfortunate. But hopefully... You know, I mean, it's saying we've got a little bit of increase in cash. It looks like we're just going to be touching profit again today. Yeah, that maintenance has gone down, look, 546. So really, we only want to be building this corridor as we need it. So we know where it's going to go, but let's just let's just draw it right back. There we go. Oh yeah, we can see the maintenance number go down. So yeah, the maintenance cost just of buildings themselves, it looks like it's a dollar per square, which is rather crazy. So what we'll do is we'll cut that right down until we're actually ready to build our, our storage. Um, uh, till, till, till we're ready to build our next store, you know. Uh, I'm going to take that down to there. But then we'll put a wall in. There we go. Because our next shop will be here. Uh, what we can do, actually, is we can build a door... Um, I'm sure the doors probably cost us something as well, but we'll build a door here uh, as well. And then once the uh, once this is up and running, people will cut here rather than having to go in and out of the store. Uh, but overall, we're looking okay. The, the stock got a little ropey before, but now it all seems to be relatively filled up. Uh, we need that second staff member coming in at 8 o'clock. Which, by the time they're getting here, it's closer to 9, so we may actually put them at a 7am start. Um, so let's have a look at doing that. Staff, so who comes in at 8? You come in at 8, you come in at 2, you come in at 8. So you are going to be dropping to a 7am start, uh, which means we have nobody at 6. Okay. Oh no, store clerk, that is, sorry, we don't want to mess with you, you're fine, you're doing a good job. You're in at 8, there we go, so we'll knock you down to 7. Okay. I think that's doing okay. Place looks busy, but nobody seems to be getting too angry. You can actually see on their faces that they get angry if they're waiting too long. Um, and for the most part, none of them seem to be getting a bit miffed. I mean, they look ugly. Oh, there, look. He's just getting a bit angry there, but he just got served in time, so that's not a problem. So it seems to be... Seems to be like we're doing all right. We're getting pretty close to, to making a bit of money. We've knocked our maintenance down to 360, so that gives us an extra $150 to play with. I mean, our salaries are pretty high, but uh, there isn't really much we can do about that. Um, ah, now we have an issue here. The bread's going off, so we're getting garbage. Uh, one thing we don't have is, uh, is garbage space. That is something we need. Where are we going to put it? We need somewhere to be relatively close but still not going to be in the way. I think we'll place it here. So, Manny, uh, build. Roads is here, road work. Um, ro no, where is it? Garbage, there we go. So let's have two spaces of garbage just there. And I'm pretty sure staff... Somebody? Is it janitor does that? Or is it stock? Doesn't seem to be the stock guy. So hopefully it's the janitor when he comes in. Yeah, there we go. Is that our janitor guy? Janitor cleaning. Yeah, so he comes and drops off rubbish there, which is good. So that seems then... Um, expires in 14 hours. Yeah, so that kind of needs to sell. That lasts a little longer. 
doesn't seem that people are buying that sort of stuff to be honest with you we might be better off just changing it to more more sort of uh, sundry type stuff you know because it may well be wasting us money we still made a hundred dollars yesterday though um which is good okay well our shop's looking a little better looks a little bit more nicely laid out now I like it. It's very still, very much just a standard kind of, uh, you know, just like supermarket, you know, Walmart type thing. Pretty much basic stuff. Um, obviously, it's going to be our sort of bread and butter for a little while until we actually start making some bigger money. Uh, we can do it with these. Look, we've got clothing coming and we've got electronics coming. I'm pretty sure electronics makes pretty big money uh we can do a frozen food store we can do a full-on liquor store if we wanted as well i think though to start off with to keep costs down it's easier just to make one big store with everything in um but obviously that's not a very nice way of doing it looks wise i definitely think we're gonna have to consider a second janitor soon but i don't want to do that until we've got our next store open do you know what Let's just get a store open. It's the end of the near the end of the video. Let's just get a store. We're going to slow it down a little, and we're going to build some foundations. And our foundations are going to go here. Uh, why can't we? Why can we? Oh, we don't have money. Wow, stores are so expensive, guys. They really are. Um, can we do fifteen by eight? I don't want to do it. I want to see where we where we're up to here. Make 2,000 total sales, so we can we can probably get towards that, um, and that'll give us 10 grand. Whilst we're still making a little tiny profit, that 10 grand might really help. So let's just, I just want like a little, mm, no, we'll leave it. I don't want to waste money just because we're building something that looks nice. I do want the place to look nice. But, you know, this game seems to be a little bit more focused on the actual simulation side of things as opposed to the creative side of things. So we do want the place looking good. Um, but more importantly, we want to be actually making profit. But we're turning a profit now, which we weren't in the last episode, which is good. I'm sorry we haven't really built much in this one. Uh, but in episode three, we will definitely build a new store. In fact, what I think I'll do is just let the game run a little while before we do episode three. Um, so we've got some money in the uh, money in the bank. And, uh, and we're a little bit more of a comfortable position. I might even wait for clothing to open and we'll build a clothing store or something like that. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries or suggestions, you can drop them down in the comments. And if you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Sparrow. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.